Believe it, the sky is about to change forever. India has just played a move that has shaken not only neighboring capitals, but also sent a strong signal across the global defense industry. This isn't just an upgrade, it's the dawn of a new era, the rise of Tejas Mark II. Think about it. The legendary Mirage and MiG 29s that once defined India's skies are now retiring, and taking their place is a new predator, one that's faster, smarter, and built to dominate. Tejas Mark II isn't just about speed or power. It's a statement of confidence. A stronger next-generation engine means higher thrust, faster climb rates, and better cruising endurance, giving Indian pilots the ability to strike before the enemy even knows what hit them. The new forward canards and aerodynamic wings offer incredible stability and agility, turning dogfights into a chess match India's Air Force can win every time. And when it comes to firepower, the payload has nearly doubled. That means not just more strength, but a broader strike scale, capable of inflicting devastating damage in a single mission. Numbers tell the story too. While the Indian Air Force needs 42 squadrons for full operational readiness, it currently has only about 31. That's where Tejas Mark two steps in, not just as a replacement, but as the backbone of India's next 30 to 40 years of air dominance. But the real revolution isn't just in the aircraft, it's in the mindset. For the first time, the Indian Air Force will directly lead weapon integration, certification, and software development. No more long bureaucratic delays. Pilots, tacticians, and developers will now sit together, writing, testing, and deploying code in real time. It means Tejas Mark II will evolve continuously. New weapons, new systems, new tactics, updated faster than ever before. Phase one will field Tejas with key air-to-air -air missiles and precision-guided bombs. But phase two? That's where the real game begins. Anti-radar missiles, Brahmos NG, and even AI-guided loitering munitions that can act like smart autonomous missiles. All tested and refined under live combat simulations, a direct adaptive feedback loop led by the Air Force itself. This new doctrine will supercharge deployment speed and combat readiness. Under TAGDEV, tactics and air combat development, pilots and strategists will collaborate like never before creating, testing, and fielding new combat strategies directly. It's the same operator-led model that the US and European Air Forces have perfected. And now India is stepping into that elite league. The result? A faster, smarter upgrade cycle. A true platform that learns. From the enemy's perspective, this is a strategic wake-up call. Once 200 Tejas Mark IIs are fully operational, China's J-10C and Pakistan's JF-17 will face a completely new tactical balance in the skies over Asia. It's a clear message. India is no longer just a buyer. It's becoming a global defense manufacturer and exporter. So is Tejas Mark II really a game changer? Yes, but only if the platform, pilots, and strategy evolve together. Because even the strongest jet is just hardware. It's innovation, speed, and adaptation that turn it into true power. And that's exactly the model India has chosen. Fast, self-reliant, and operator-centric. Now it's your turn. Do you believe Tejas Mark II can outmatch China's J-10C and Pakistan's JF-17, technically and tactically? Drop your thoughts below, yes or no, fire airplane.